Warning. No, I mean warning. This podcast is hosted by a podcaster that does not, I repeat, does not know what to say out his mouth feel area, and does not express the views of shizzy lit podcast at all or in any way whatsoever at all, not at all or whatsoever, Nautica, Nathan, Nathaniel, nothing, you hear me, I don't even see how he got a show, anyway remember what I told everybody, it's totally inappropriate for anybody of any age, color, ethnic, gender, religion, state, country, town or human being on this planet, even aliens. I warned all of yous. I'm out. Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Browns and this is another Shizzy Lit Podcast. Shitty Mees. Yeah, man. I just wanted to give you another little thought that I was thinking about and shit. Y'all know... What I'm mad about that I ain't get to see before was too late and all that type shit. You feel me? And I got a list and I knocked most of them off the list. But the number one person that I wanted to see, a celebrity, you feel me? Entertainer that I wanted to see was of course the legendary good old Mike Jack. You feel me? Michael Jackson, man. You dig? It was Michael Jackson first, Snoop was second. I seen him. You feel me? And uh, shit, definitely woo, seen them. You know what I mean? And a couple more motherfuckers. Hold on, who else on the list that I'm on? I, see, I think I seen all my top five people that I want to see, if I'm not mistaken. Shit. But not Mike. Get the dig? So I don't know. I mean, like, any had to be in concert or nothing. They could have been doing a little walk by something. I might have been in somewhere I needed to be at the right place, right time. Fucking Mike. You know feel me? Because I'm going to get this nigga attention and shit. I start dancing in the middle of wherever the fuck we at. I do the dance. I make that nigga come back out of the shit. I'd have made him have a dance contest with me or something if I'd have seen him. You feel me? I'd have took an ass whipping from the bodyguards to try to get a hug from my man. I'd have been like one of them white kids and shit that you used to see back in the day on your concerts when they had the ambulances and shit outside. I'd have passed out and been crying and all that shit like a bitch and all that shit. When I seen my man Mike. And I could have been this age right now, I'm saying. I'd have did that. Like, real shit. Like, I ain't even ashamed to say that shit. You know what I mean? I had the Michael Jackson thriller uh, jacket back in the day. The reversible joint. It was silver and black on one side. And the, the original legendary red and black on the other side. So, y'all ain't down. You know what I mean? And I had the Michael Jackson doll. That shit was kind of gay, though. I ain't gonna lie. But I was a young boy. Ain't know nothing about that. Cause that shit was a Barbie doll, but it was Mike. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know, whatever. All that shit. You know what I mean? I ain't had a glove and the socks and all that shit, but shit, nigga. If that shit would have came in the Halloween set and I seen it, I'd have been Mike for Halloween and all that shit. I remember one time when I was little and shit, like on my fourth birthday, I did the whole Michael Jackson album and shit. And that was back in the Pepsi generation with my man did the motherfucking Pepsi uh commercial and Carlton was little with shit. Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air was little with shit on there. That's why he danced so good. He can do the Mike Jack so good. Yo was hanging with Michael Jackson back in the day, at least for that time. Well, they did the video and shit in the film. So I always knew who Carlton was from the 80s and shit. You know what I mean? That's why I fucked with him on all the shows yo was on throwing life and shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, that's what I regret it. You know what I mean? Oh, but the Lord, the Lord, when he was doing the Pepsi and shit, you remember on the Lord commercial, he did the Pepsi while he was drinking the Pepsi while he did the moonwalk. Back in them days, boy, I couldn't even do the moonwalk without a can of Pepsi. It was unacceptable. It wasn't happening unless you get a can of Pepsi in my head. You know what I mean? And that was my birthday. I did the whole album live for all my fathers and his friends while they in there smoking J's and shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Shit like that. I wish I could have got to meet my man, see my man do what he do best, perform and shit. You know, feel me? So, I just like to let y'all know that. I think I seen everybody else over this. I definitely say Snoop. Snoop was two on that. And the niggas be like, how the fuck you go from Michael Jackson to Snoop? Don't worry about my list, but I'm just telling you, they don't judge my shit. You know, me? don't judge my shit. But Mike definitely was number one. I definitely wanted to meet Pop. You know, feel me? But not like Mike. You know, feel me? 
Michael Jackson was that guy to be. You couldn't tell me shit. You ask any family member, boy. I ain't play about that nigga, Mike. Any song, I don't give a fuck what it is. You know what I mean? I'm fucking with it. So, yeah. It is what it is. And I know a lot of y'all feel like that. Motherfuckers done grew up and got a guy, little tough and shit. Get, get smoking weed and shit. So tough listening to rap music now and all that shit. Y'all motherfuckers still get that motherfucking feeling when y'all see them old school Mike videos that y'all came up off of. It make you want to do the little moonwalk and shit. That take you back to the younger days and shit. You want to spin, do the little leg kick shit. No I like y'all don't be wanting to play around. If y'all knew y'all was happy and shit, but Mike was like, this is it. He wasn't happy that he was saying his it, but my man was ready to do another epic concert and shit, man. We didn't even get to see that. I seen the little DVD they made of the rehearsals and shit, man. I was upset. I'm like, come on, man. That's it. That's all we got. It is what the fuck it is, though. But I think it was a little conspiracy on that and shit, too. Because they was already trying to do Mike Dirty so bad. They tried hitting financially. They tried hitting disrespectfully on the slanderation tip. You know, feel me? And... Just all other kind of motherfucking bullshit, you feel me? So my man probably died off a little bit of stress and the little doctor nigga. He, he, he don't think when I, yo, and this is a big fact. I don't know if this nigga, listen, don't let me see that nigga. You hear me? Do you hear what I'm saying about my man Mike? He is the reason I ain't get to meet my man Mike. I was going to make that shit happen. I don't give a fuck if Mike was 85. I was going to meet my man. This nigga fucked up the flow. For everybody, nigga, that nigga, everybody love Mike. Nigga, new kids still being born now, discovering that they love Mike and shit. Nigga, done fuck that up. What's that nigga name? Comrade, Doctor Cover up. I'm on your ass, boy. You better and got to know this shit. Please take that shit heavily, not lightly, motherfucker. I'm on your tippy top paws, but you know what the fuck I mean. And I'm gonna bring the tea. They the color of the beam, so you better stop playing around, motherfucker. You better stop playing around. It's your boy OG Shit's burning him out. Yeah, it Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This is another Shizzy Lit Podcast Spotlight Day. We're going to show Envy Alice and all the love. Y'all don't know who she is. That's because y'all, y'all just get with me. Yeah, you wasn't rocking with me when we first jumped off. This cool, though. You know, feel me? Because here at Shizzy Lit Podcast, we recap. You know what I mean? We use our motherfucking clips over again and shit. We don't just let them flow and shit. We give you the main compilation it up, mash it up. You know what I mean? For the masses. So everybody can know what's going on. But yeah, today, I'm going to show uh, Envy Allison love. It's going to be all Envy Allison situations throughout the day and shit.